an insight into my life that you might not be entirely aware of. I get sad. A lot. A whole lot. But Connor, what do you get sad about? Things. Sometimes nothing. Sometimes everything. I'm pretty sure most people get sad about stuff. That's kind of a human thing. The thing about me when I get sad though is that I like get stuck in that. Like I get like stuck and I stop doing things and it's really hard for me to pull myself out of there. That'd be depression. That's a thing that a lot of people have. So I'm making this video for anyone who might be in that position, me in the future, but like anyone else who might be there too. Hey friend, go get that happy. It's there. It's right out there. You might not know where to find it. Um, you might not know where exactly it's hiding, but I assure you it's there. Go get that happy. It's, it's, I swear to God, it's out there. If something is not working in your life or something is consistently making you sad and you can change that, change it. I know it's the hardest thing in the world because we get real comfortable in our routines, but when it's not working, when it's broke, fix it. Something that I do a lot, I let my room get real, real messy and then the energy gets all cluttered and negative and if I'm already sad, it's not a good place for me to be. I have two choices. One, I sit in that and allow that to stay the same or I do something about it. I get up and I go get that happy. Let's say I've had a couple days off and I've been laying on the couch watching a whole lot of Netflix doing not much else. Haven't reached out to friends, haven't really talked to anyone, and I feel really, really lonely and undesirable. I can either A, continue to stay in that, or two, text someone and go get that happy. You can just like slap a hashtag on that. Go get that happy. Yeah. I know I'm simplifying a whole lot and that it's not always that easy to just go up and do the thing to make you happy. I know it's not that easy, but it is super important to control what you can control and to actually get up and put the work in to go get that happy. You feel? Something that happens to me when I'm feeling particularly sad and down, depressed, whatever, um, I feel like I really want somebody to reach out to me and to do everything for me and fix my problems for me, but that's never gonna happen. If there's one thing that I've learned with my personal issues with mental health and other things, um, it's that you gotta be persistent. You you really have to be persistent. That's not to say that you're always gonna be on your game. That's not to say that you're always gonna be working towards something, but the baseline has to be, I work hard. Because if you don't work hard, you're gonna stay in that ball of energy and you're not gonna go get that happy. I don't wanna sound like I'm undermining those with mental illnesses, because I too have multiple mental illnesses that I'm dealing with every single day of my life. It's not always as easy as making a snap decision saying, I wanna be happy and then going to do the thing. It's not always that easy. I know it can feel like there is an insurmountable mountain in front of your face, but how do people climb mountains? They don't look at the top, they look at what's my next handhold? What's my next thing that I go to? What's my next step? Simplify, take it one step at a time and get that happy. Get that happy. I don't know, man, I was just real, real sad the other night and I just woke up this morning and said, you know what, uh, enough of that. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna just have myself a simply good day. And I did that. Let me know some things that you guys do to g get the happy in the comments. I'll be reading them and it will probably make me get the happy, you know? I love each and every one of you very, very much and uh, I'll see you guys on Monday. <laughs>